hey, what's going on? I'll play a little bit of this idea, and then I'll, I'll teach it to you right after this. So I'm working on the key of C, some ideas for the key of C. So I'll go over the chords just real quick. Um, C, just standard. So this guy's there on that second string. First fret, second fret, third fret, fifth string. All right, I'll do my F like so, bringing these each down by one, letting the first string ring open. There's the C again. I'll do my A minor minus the top. It's kind of an A minor seven. I'll do my G like so, sometimes with the pinky there on that second string, sometimes on that first string. Cool. So those are the chords that I'll be working with. Starting with F. Um, this idea was just cool to me when I first learned it, because it sounds like you're doing something super fast. And it's not too hard once you get the hang of it. So so what I am is uh, have the F, middle finger off. Then hammering on on that third string so third string open hammering on immediately to that second string the string right underneath it cool um, same idea with the C so middle finger off hammering on getting that third string open right underneath it pick or you can do it with your fingers, doesn't matter. Um, G. You can do the same idea. Um, I like doing with the first finger off. First finger on. Pinky on. On that second string. Then maybe moving the pinky to the first string. Good. E minor, same deals. On, hammering on, off, I mean, off, hammering on, hitting the third string open underneath it. Good. Uh, strumming, same idea, so like F. Off, on, off, on, on, off. Off, on, hammering on. So there I just kind of like, I hammered both those fingers on. First finger was on. To A minor. So some of those ideas I'm only hitting a couple strings, like the F. Maybe I'm only hitting like the second and thirds, or third and fourth string. You can also put the pinky on anytime. First finger came off on that one. Good ideas for, for writing songs and stuff like that. So those are the general ideas behind it. Um, just take some working around with it once you get kind of used to it. Love those ideas, both for like... Um, I like doing it for, if I'm writing songs, I use those ideas a lot. And just, I hear these ideas in songs so much. Uh, like in finger picking songs. Yeah, so get used to them, spend some time with them. It takes a little while once you know some of the general techniques behind it to kind of get it so it sounds good and kind of making it your own after you kind of like get used to it then the goal is to make it your own and then just kind of like make up different ideas off of those ideas that I showed in just a couple minutes you can come up with like once you're comfortable with it you can come up with three or four good ideas for um for songs that would just sound good so anyway hope was helpful 
And uh, I hope you make it your own. Use it and just kind of like make songs out of it. Cool. See ya.